Hello, hello. Um, this is my second YouTube video ever, and I had uh, people that were, I don't know, surprisingly happy with my last YouTube video, so I thought I'd just do another one <laughs> for fun because I had a spare moment. Um, I thought I would review some camera straps. So I started photography in 2005 or so, and so I had a Canon 20D, and at the time, you know, the standard camera strap was just the one that came with the, with the camera, and I did wedding photography, and that absolutely killed my neck. So this um, Optech USA uh, that has like kind of a neoprene lining in it became my, my go-to camera strap for my camera and I would carry, you know, my 70 to 200 millimeter image stabilization lens on top of it and, you know, super heavy. And, um, and this worked really, really well for me during that time. And it's got little clips on it and they never, ever accidentally came undone. And this, this was just my go-to one. But when I switched to mirrorless after I kind of took a hiatus from photography for a while because I went to grad school and became a mom. Uh, I was just blown away by the camera strap options that are available now. So I did a lot of research when I switched to my Sony a7C um, mirrorless camera. And I'll tell you what I ended up buying and what my most favorite items are. So the first camera strap that I decided to try um, is the black rapid strap. I bought a few different versions of this and ended up sticking with the curve strap because it's got a little bit of a lower profile than the, the one that's like marketed for sports. Um, so anyway, this one's really cool if you're someone who just has your camera on you constantly and um, you're really just using it with your hands, like you're not putting it on a tripod. So this camera strap you put over yourself diagonally and then there is a clip that you put here and the sport one is has the same kind of setup but it's just a little more uh, substantial up in the shoulder so then you can um, you can put this stopper and adjust this up here so you actually mount your camera from where the tripod goes uh sorry yeah where the like plate mount goes in the bottom of the camera so if i had this mounted here i would screw it into the bottom and the camera just kind of hangs upside down and it's actually really really handy and they've got a really sturdy uh, clip here that takes quite a few steps to uh do and undo just to make sure everything is secure. But when you want your camera to be usable, you just take the stopper and you would just, you know, kind of move your camera up here. And when you want your camera out of the way, you can take the stopper and put it behind you and even bend over and your camera will, you know, stay in pretty good place behind you. So I was really impressed with this. I think if I was still a wedding photographer, I would be wearing this all the time. Um, and you can, you can switch sides, but it takes a little bit of time. So that's the one thing that if you had it on you all day, it might be a little bit harder to switch sides. Um, but I really like this strap and I think it's, I don't know, it's just so cool to see what they've come up with now for, for different ways to carry your camera. And this one also, it does take up a little bit of room in the bag, which is one of the reasons why I returned the sport version because I've got a mirrorless system, so I'm using smaller everything, you know, smaller bag, smaller camera, smaller slots in the bag. And this, at least I was willing to put up with the amount of space that took up. Um, so one of the things I've done since I have picked up photography again is I'm doing landscape photography after a history of only doing portraiture. And I very quickly, after I got the Black Rapid strap, 
realized how inconvenient it was if I switched back and forth between portraiture and landscape. And so I started looking all over for different uh, straps to, to use. I really liked the idea of being, you know, putting the camera strap crossways on my body and being able to hold it out of the way. Um, but because it mounted underneath, it was just a pain in the butt to switch to landscape because I needed to use that, uh, those threads in the bottom to mount the tripod plate. Um, so I heard all these people on online talking about this company called Peak Design, which if you're in photography and you haven't heard of Peak Design by this point, uh, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I don't know what you've been reading if you haven't heard of Peak Design. So Peak Design is uh, a company that they, they're carbon neutral, they don't have, um, like, they don't have investors other than people that invest through Kickstarter campaigns. So really they can, you know, make executive decisions about how they want their products made. And they are now becoming known for just very, very high quality, thoughtful, intentional, carbon neutral products that are a bit pricey, but, um, when you see what they make compared to other people, you just definitely right away see the quality and innovation. So my favorite straps now, because I switch back and forth between portrait and la landscape are uh, the Peak Design straps. So as a reminder, I have a mirrorless Sony a7C. So this is a smaller camera. They've got uh, some neck slash shoulder straps. One is called the slide and one is called the slide light. So for a mirrorless camera, I read that the slide light is a, uh, is a good strap that they recommend for that size. So I got the slide light in the color Sage. And what is really cool about Peak Design is they have these anchors that uh, you can put you know, wherever you want to on your camera. So I've got one on the side and I've got one on the bottom and they give you these plates to uh, to put on the bottom that screw into your tripod uh, thread, tripod plate thread. So these plates are uh, not meant to come off ever. So they don't give you an easy way to take them off because this is a really important part of their system. They don't want it to easily come off. You have to screw it in with an Allen wrench. But this is uh, Arca Swiss compatible, which is a lot of current tripods use this. They also have uh, a plate that is Manfrotto compatible um, that has the bottom part or they, that has uh, that is still compatible with their like capture clip and uh, I'm you know I'm getting into a whole different stuff a whole different selection of <laughs> Peak Design products because I'm totally they're my favorite company now so uh, you know, if people want, I can do a whole nother video just on the Peak Design stuff that I've purchased. But anyway, so using the anchors, you just very easily take the anchor, slide it in, and then you've got it in the end piece of the strap. So I've got my two end pieces here, and I'm putting my anchors in, and then I can just put my camera on like this, and I can kind of use it like like the black rapid strap. So I like to wear it um, on my shoulder, but I can wear it as a neck strap if I want. There's a really, really quick way to change the length of the strap. I'm just shortening it up here. I tend to just leave it on the same thing, so I'm not actually used to moving that too often. Um, but I can use it similar to my Black Rapid, and then I can just pick it up and, and go. If I want it to stay in place, it's got this uh, rubber backing here, so I can flip it over. And then I can do the same thing that, uh, that the Black Rapid one does, because it doesn't slide around. Now, the Black Rapid, I think, is a lot more secure if you are going to be bending over a lot just because it's got actual physical stoppers to keep the camera from moving but 
with a mirrorless system and not having a really heavy lens on here, I think this is, you know, more than adequate for myself. So I thought, because of my history of portraiture, this would be my favorite um, strap, but actually this other strap that Peak Design makes, which is the one I use, I thought I was just going to use primarily for landscape, um, is the cuff. So it's their cuff strap. So it's just um, a loop and then it has this metal slider so you can make it smaller or larger. And I can just put it on and kind of cinch it on my wrist. And then I just put it right in the anchors here because when I'm doing my landscape photography I don't want to have a huge camera strap uh, a neck strap hanging down and I want to be able to take that strap off quickly and put on something quickly that I can use with my wrist as I'm transferring things um, so this is <laughs> another peak design product that I could talk about later but I actually just got um, their new tripod and I'm excited to try this out. But uh, this, is how, this is how I like to operate when I'm in landscape. I like to just have this little cuff for the short times where I'm transitioning between, you know, putting this in the bag and putting it on my tripod just for safety because I've seen horrible <laughs> camera falls and I've, I've had, you know, accidents myself when just handing someone else my camera where it was dropped. So my rule is if the camera is being transferred, a strap always has to be on an extremity, <laughs> basically. But I really, really love this particular setup. And um, let's see. All right, so I, I'm just going to take this off here. Super easy. Again, if I decide to do a video with Peak Design <laughs> specific products later, um, that would be one of the things I would talk about. This new tripod, but uh, I digress. So those are the camera straps that I have experience with. And I honestly have just become a huge fan of Peak Design in general. And as a person who whose favorite photography is portraiture and landscape and I switch back and forth frequently because I take pictures of my family and friends and then I like to go out in nature and do landscape scenes. Being able to easily switch between a neck slash shoulder strap and a wrist strap is just so convenient and important for me. But this cuff strap is working just perfectly for me and it's super low profile and really simple. So. I love it. Thank you, Peak Design. And uh, I'll post the links to these products underneath. I don't get anything for you clicking on them because, you know, I don't, I'm not fancy enough to know how to do that. And <laughs> I'm sure I'm not going to get that many views. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching my video.